Hey, hey, welcome back to Red Blue Labs. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the third vulnerability that I found on a router that I bought at a, a Goodwill here in my city. Uh, this one was really fun. I, I got to learn more about a really cool tool called Router Sploit, which I'm going to be demonstrating at the beginning of this video. Uh, and then I'm going to be uh, showing you a, a really interesting uh, exploit that I've discovered that is taking advantage of an old proprietary uh, protocol. Specifically, it's called HNAP, so Home Network Administrative Protocol. Now, it's a protocol that, that is actually not being really used anymore by um, vendors, uh, but it was it was used in by Cisco and, and D-Link, and they, they put this proprietary protocol in there to provide just another way to access the machine, which, as it turns out, wasn't a really good idea because it actually provided another way into the machine. And so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find that exploit and then one way to uh, actually take advantage of it and actually do the exploit. All right, so let's go and first do how I discovered the vulnerability. So there's a tool that we have uh, available to us. It's, it's awesome. It's called Router Sploit. Let's go navigate to my folder that I got for that. And it comes with a, a Python script here. And so if we run that, it's it's really quite slick. And it, it starts it off, and we're gonna we're gonna be adding, um, <clears throat> picking our our scanner that we're gonna be using. So for this part, this part, the first thing that I would do when I'm, when I'm poking around at a router is that I'm gonna run it's a basic uh, scan. I'd like to just like sort of like take a shotgun and blast it out that router and just see what comes back and then I can then I can dig further on particular things. So let's go ahead and and start using it. So it's very very similar to uh, Metasploit. So it's use scanners auto pwn and it, as you can see right here it 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 looks like Metasploit, which is great. Um, we can do show options and these would be the the things that we can set. So I want to set my target. So as we, as you know in this video, I'm doing a, a router vulnerability checking. So we set target to the IP address of the router that I'm um, investigating. And by default, it's going to be going on port 80. But I also like to set that. And one thing that's where you, you don't see it over here is that there is actually a an option to for HTTP, but it, we don't see it here. Um, so set HTTP, HTTP port uh, to 80, and you'd want to you'd want to configure this to whatever port your your device is looking at. And it, this isn't limited to uh, routers. You can do it on any kind of IoT device that's actually living in your network. You can do a Chromecast, a Nest, uh, smart TVs. Uh, if you've got a smart fridge, whatever. I mean, um, if it's got a port, then you we can we can scan it. Okay, so pretty easy. We've set the target, we set the port. Now let's run it. Now it's going to go through everything, and it's going to take a it's going to take a few minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, and then come back, and I'll show you what the results were. Okay, so router exploit is completed now at this point. Uh, and it's come back with a something that's vulnerable, and it actually is recommending a exploit that exists inside of router exploit. So what it's what's come back with here is exploits router is dealing uh, multi HNA a, HNAP uh, remote code execution, which is which is really fun uh, if you can get it working. Uh, and it's a little bit harder because this particular this particular exploit is actually what we would call a blind command injection. So when we connect to it, um, we won't be seeing our commands or our output from our commands uh, on the screen. So there's a, there's some other steps that we have to do in order to take full advantage of that. And that, that's going to be another video. Uh, but let's, let's, let's confirm that this actually works. And that's, this is what, this is what we did here. So let's go use, uh, Okay, show options. 
set target to my router. All right, I've, uh, I've set the target over here. Uh, we, we have by default port 80, which is what my router has open to the, the internal network. And let's run it. And we do have a, um, a command here. So at this point, we would dig a little bit deeper. I'm not going to be showing you blind command injection, but what I wanted to what I wanted to see at this point is that I can connect to it, and this would be a different avenue to go. But let's let's step back a little bit and see if there's something a little bit easier that we can do to take advantage of this this machine. So I'm going to get out of there. There we go. And there is a there's a tool that's available to us to uh, dig into HNAP. Uh, and it's called HNAP own and with a zero. So let's move over to that that directory. And uh, we'll look at it. Now this is available on GitHub and I'm going to include it the instructions on how to download that in the description of the video. Okay, uh, but it comes with a lot of different ways to test out the machine. So, and specifically testing for this vulnerability with HNAP. Let's go look at the XML file. Uh, and it has a bunch of uh, XML files in here, all doing very interesting things. Um, particular of particular interest would be uh, getting the WAN settings is, is interesting. Um, and then one that we're going to be seeing in this video is actually uh, setting the WAN. Uh, no, setting the device settings. This one's really interesting. You can actually, and we're going to see uh, changing the administrator password. So let's jump on over there and I'll show you how to do that. All right. Before I, I exploit this this router, I'd like to sh I'd like to confirm on this on the video here that we can look we can still log in. So if we, re if we remember remember back to the previous video, we'd actually uh, been able to sniff on the network and find the password, uh, which was admin, uh, really good password, and confirming that the password is still in there. Let's go back. Um, we're not in anymore. Uh, let's try a wrong password, Andrew doesn't work great uh, let's use our, our tool that we've got to take advantage of this machine let's exploit it to confirm again uh, I want to I want to show you a particular XML file that we're going to be firing at this machine here uh, and it's in particular it's set device settings so let's go in take a look at it uh, a normal XML file but let's look specifically at the admin password in here we can see that it's empty. That's good. Let's leave it like that. Let's let's get out of there, and we are going to go back in our history and take a look at the line that we've got here. Uh, we're going to call the call the script. We are going to launch it at our our router, and we're going to be specifically sending this um, XML over to this router. The goal here is to take the, the variable or that the part that was in the XML file and actually wipe out the password. That's what I'd like to do. Let's go ahead and launch this thing. So now when, when, you, when you launch it, you're going to see that it's, uh, it doesn't look like it's doing something, but this actually means that it's working. Okay. Uh, I like to let it sit for 5, 10 seconds, even longer, because I'm a little paranoid and I really want it to work. <laughs> so. I'll pause for a few seconds here. There you go. I've let it. I've let it rest for like maybe 30 seconds, um, and then I'm gonna Control C, and let's go over to the router and see. Let's see what's happened. Uh, I'll refresh. Admin. We're gonna leave the password spot empty. And there you go. We've effectively cleared out the admin password. So that's our third vulnerability we've used. We've exploited a a proprietary uh, protocol that is no longer in use um, and we've been able to actually 
clear out the admin password, which is super dangerous because now this router exists on this network and anybody can access it. All right. If you're enjoying my videos, please go ahead and like and subscribe. That would be awesome. And I've got some more videos up coming up that I think you're going to enjoy. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye.